Today we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between lowercase b and lowercase d. It is a fairly common occurrence for kids to get them mixed up. It's totally normal at this stage, but we're going to give three different um, strategies for trying to remember which one is which today for those kids that are ready to, do, to work on that. So in our uppercase letters, our B and our D are um, quite easy to tell apart with our, the number of bumps, but when we get to our lowercase, they both look very much the same. They both have a stick and they both have a circle. Um, so uh, one way is to try to remember B always starts with a line. When you are drawing it out with B, you're always starting with drawing a line and then you're adding your circle. And when you're writing a D, you're always starting with a circle and then adding the line. So that is one difference that you could try to um, remember and it might trigger something with kids when they're working on printing them. That is strategy number one. Number two is when you're saying the sounds, they are different and your mouth is different when you say the sound. When you say a B, B, your mouth is in a line. So you can remember to do the line first. And when you are saying D, D, your mouth is open. So you can remember to draw the circle first. So if we focus on the sounds with the B, B, the line, you draw the line first. D, D, your mouth is open, you draw the open circle first. Um, the last strategy is alphabet order and using the word bed. So if we add our little E in here, bed, and today we're talking about monkeys jumping on a bed, so this is perfect. Um, okay, so bed starts with B, which comes first in the alphabet. So a lot of kids know the alphabet by singing the alphabet song. So A, B, C, D, they can remember that B comes before D. So when they're writing the word B, bed, B is first and D is second. So you can also use your hands like this. We have B and then D. B is first. When you're reading, you read this way. So B is first and D is second. So we can remember the word bed, if we can remember that word in our head when we're writing. You can always um, think back to that and think, okay, B, bed starts with B, B looks like this, okay. Then I know that the stick comes first and then the circle. So you can give those strategies a try and see if that helps with um, recognizing lowercase b and d.